Welcome to Trucker Observations and Verifications Inspector Training. Trucking observations are to be completed when a trucking company is observed on the project. The purpose is to verify both the owner operator and the DBE status of individual trucks. The RCS will use this information to determine if the payroll is properly submitted for the driver and to determine if the trucking activity should be included in the DBE utilization. Monitoring trucker activity is governed by 49 CFR Part 26, FDOT Standard Specification 7-24, and FDOT Compliance Manual Chapter 2. As mentioned before, trucking observations are to be conducted when a trucking firm is observed working on the project. The amount of observations conducted may vary depending on the DBE status of the trucking firm. For DBE trucking firms, one observation a month for the first three active months is to be completed. For non-DBE firms, one is conducted annually. The RCS will inform you which trucking firms will need three and which will not. Section 1, Project Identification. This section will be completed by the RCS and sent to you as a template for your use in the field. If you do not have the form and you need to obtain the form yourself, fill out as much of the project information as you can. As with all forms, please obtain it from the DOT Forms website to ensure you are retrieving the latest version. Section 2, Trucking Firm Identification. This section may or may not be filled out depending on if the RCS has been informed about the trucking firm working on the project. If it is not filled out, please complete this section to the best of your ability. Note that question nine actually needs two answers. Each option, whether it is subcontractor, purchase order, or rental agreement, requires the name of the company the trucker is doing business with. It may help to ask them specifically who hired them. Sometimes truckers are second tier subs and assume that they are working for the prime when in fact they are directly hired by a sub. If they don't know, please mark not known. Section three, identification of truck driver and truck ownership. This section is to be completed by you as the inspector. Numbers 10 and 11 are for the date and your name. Numbers 12 through 16 are for truck identification. Note that the USDOT number is usually on the truck door. Numbers 17 through 19 are for the driver identification. Obtain the driver's driver's license and fill out accordingly. If the type of CDL license is not listed on the form, please notate the type in number 18. Numbers 20 through 21 are for the truck owner identification. You will need the truck's registration to complete this section. The name of the owner may not always match the driver. Please refrain from taking pictures of licenses and registrations to ensure privacy. Numbers 22 and 23 are the main parts of the observation. Here is where you will specify the type of work the trucker was doing. On number 22, list all the material the trucker was hauling. On number 23, you will check all the types of hauling the trucker was doing. Items A through C are for on-site hauling, and items D through G are for off-site hauling. It is imperative that you check all that apply and not just one, as some truckers do multiple trips, which may be a mix of on-site and off-site hauling. In order to properly determine what is on-site and off-site, you first need to understand what is considered site of work. The site of work is the physical place or places where the construction called for in the contract will remain after work has been completed. Any other site where a significant portion of the building or work is constructed provided that such site is established specifically for the contract. So if the site was obtained during contract operations and is taken down after contract operations, then it is considered site of work. What criteria must be satisfied for a facility to be deemed part of the site of work? Site of work can also include job headquarters, tool yards, batch plans, and burrow pits, provided that they're located adjacent or virtually adjacent to the site of work and they're dedicated exclusively or nearly so to the performance of the contract or project. What is not considered site of work? 
permanent home offices, branch locations, fabrication plants, tool yards, etc. Any location in which its continuance in operation are determined without regard to a particular federally assisted contract. And fabrication plans, batch plans, job headquarters, tool yards of a commercial supplier established by a supplier of materials before the opening of bids and it's not located on the actual site of work. Section 4, Administrative Review. This section is to be completed by the RCS. Once the RCS receives the observation from the field, they are tasked to determine the validity of the owner, the requirement of payrolls, and the DBE status. They will determine these items from the information that you provide, so please be as accurate as possible when noting the type of hauling. Best Practices If you see a truck, complete a trucker observation if not already done so. Remember, observations are conducted per trucking firm, not per trucker. For example, if there are five trucks on site, two trucks belong to company A and three trucks belong to company B, you will conduct two total observations, one for company A and one for company B. To accurately determine the hiring company, ask the trucker, who hired you? And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the RCS for assistance. This concludes the Trucker Observations and Verifications Inspector Training.